Holy salute, brothers and sisters. I humbly like to report to you another prophecy fulfillment that which the Lord spoke to me about a spike. I'm going to go ahead and call this prophecy fulfilled. There's much more space and window left and more states to endure, but I'm going to go ahead and, and chalk it up. It says, uh, and remember, I don't watch the news. I don't report the news. This is not a news station. This is a ministry. But somebody sent me this link. North Carolina reports highest one day spike of COVID-19 cases. Highest one day spike. I'll link all this. I'm not going to read it all. I'll link all this in the video and I'll link the other video with the uh, prediction in there. Uh, again, a lot of what I said in the video was common sense, but the Lord said what I didn't know or what the people didn't know was they think it's all gone and done. And then they're going to open up the gates and then it's going to happen again because they're missing the point. The masks don't help. Being shut away don't help. Who's really helping fight this? And they're missing us going right over heads. I've heard reports from several different people of how many people's had parties and, and uh, little get togethers, you know, right to the ABC store and uh, down there at Myrtle Beach or somewhere, some beach, they had opened up a new beach. It could have been in Florida. But anyway, there was a lot of people gathered. And you hear all these reports about people acting foolish and silly. And that's exactly what you get when you mix uh, a lot of people with alcohol. People are going to forget what they're doing. They're going to forget about what's happening. They're going to forget about the pandemic and the plague and the pestilence. And more importantly, they're going to forget about God. And when that happens, God will remind them and humble them. Hey, I'm still here. I'm in control. I sit on the throne. I reign supreme. Jehovah is my name. And he'll remind them that he is the Lord Jesus, that there's no other God beside him, no other Savior but his blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. That he hung on that tree for you and for me. This is the gospel. On the third day, he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. And make no mistake, this is not the judgment. This is a precursor to many judgments. This is only the beginning of sorrows. Lest we repent, we shall be judged according to our works and our deeds. So again, I say prediction or prophecy fulfilled. I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to move on from this COVID-19. It's just taking up too much uh, time, too much. Uh, it's uh, Let's uh, close it out with a scripture tonight. Let's close it out with a scripture tonight. I gotta start having my Bible near. I don't like doing this.
there it is. There's been a lot of talks about the shaking that's happening, the shaking. Well, I'm going to coincide it with this, and, and this, I didn't plan this. This is happening right now as we speak. Luke 21, 26 through 28, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man glory to God coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. There it is, saints. There it is. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and the one who saves you from your sins and most importantly saves you from hell, I plead with you. I beseech you. I, I nearly beg you. But I can't do that. God gives free will. To get to know him. He nor I. Don't want any. To go to hell. Or perish. But he wills and wishes all come to repentance. If you got him. Keep him. Don't fall away. And if you don't know him. Turn to him. He's waiting on you. Holy salute to the Holy Club. God bless you and good night.